In this short video I'm going to introduce you to snap tools. Uh, these are really useful to improve your accuracy in AutoCAD and also to speed up your drawing time as well. Um, I'm going to start off with two of the most commonly used snap tools which is the end point and the midpoint. OSnap as it's known um, is a little icon down here at the bottom of your screen. There are two ways you can access it. You can either right, right click on it um, to turn on some of the different features. Alternatively, just out of shot here at the bottom of this little list is the settings dialog box. On here I'm going to switch on endpoint and midpoint to start with and click OK. Now you can see that OSnap is actually switched on. I'm just going to switch it off a sec and just show you what happens when we don't use OSnap. I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to try and, try and draw this line close to the end of the existing line here. And then I'm going to try and draw it up to the middle of this line. As you can see, it's very difficult to be really accurate without using some sort of method to to lock your draw your lines onto existing geometry. So I'll just delete those. I'll now turn on OSnap, which is switched on the endpoint and midpoint selections. I'm going to try and draw that line again. As you can see, as I bring my cursor up towards the line, the endpoint is highlighted with a little square, indicating that when I click, it will snap to that endpoint, just like that. If I now bring the line down and go back up to try and find the midpoint of the line, as I get close you can see the little triangle indicating the midpoint has highlighted where the midpoint is. And even if my cursor is not that close to it, it's still recognising it. And then the further away I get on this side you'll notice that it will switch. When I get closer to the endpoint it switches to the endpoint. So you can see here if I hold the cursor quite away from the line, if I click now it still finds that endpoint. So this can be used in, in any sorts of shapes. Um, here again, it's finding the midpoint, it's finding the endpoint, and so on. Another useful way of using midpoint is if you look at uh, this little cross here and this one here, you can see that this one, the lines intersect at the center of the lines and obviously on this one they don't. So what we can do is we can select the line, M for move, if I hover over it's finding the midpoint for me. I click and as I start moving it around I can find the midpoint on the other line. So that's a simple way of moving things around without having to measure and so on. In this example here you can see I've drawn a circle from an endpoint. This is really simple to do, see for circle. If I hover over here, I can start my new circle on the endpoint and I can find the midpoint to snap to. So again, just another example of how you can use endpoint and midpoint. Next we'll look at intersection. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to right click on the O snap box. I'm going to switch off midpoint. So this can be a bit confusing for intersection and I'm going to turn on intersection. As you may have guessed what this does is snaps to a point of two lines intersecting. So if I just hover close here you can see it's highlighting the endpoint and as I get towards these two lines intersecting it marks a little cross showing that it will snap to those lines. And if I come around here you can see it's snapping to the intersection. Now we'll have a look at the center snap tool which relates to circles. I'll right click on here, center is switched on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this off and just show you what happens without using the center snap. If we were trying to draw a line from the center of the circle, uh, I can hover around here but I'm not entirely sure of where the center is and I can hazard a guess but it's probably not going to be that accurate. If we turn on object snap and do this again, if I hover around the middle 
nothing happens. But if you hover over the edge of the circle, you'll see that the center of that circle is highlighted. I'll just come back to the middle here, click, and drag away. And I've now drawn my line from the center of the circle. So to give you an example, with a couple of circles, overlapping, get rid of that line there. Let's say I want to draw a line from the center of this circle in the middle here and the center of the outer circle and the inner circle could be in a similar place. Um, so to avoid the confusion on this by hovering over this inner circle which is where I want my line to start from the center of this one it tells me where that center point is and it, I don't get distracted by the outer circle. So I can just draw my line like that. Okay, moving on. I'm going to slow you, show you a slightly different method now uh, of using the snap tool, which involves using the shift right click option. So let's imagine I want to start a, draw a circle from where these two lines would intersect. Ordinarily you'd think that maybe you have to extend these lines to make them intersect in order to get your intersection and then draw them from there, but you don't. If I press C for circle, and what I'm going to do now is hold down shift and right click, and it's bringing me up a temporary uh, selection where I can choose intersection. So I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to specify the first line that I want it to consider, and you can see there's a little icon that comes up there. I've clicked that and now I'm going to select the second line. You can already see as I hover over the line it's showing me where those lines are going to intersect so I'm going to click on that and it's instantly started my circle where the lines will intersect. So the difference with using this tool in this way is you start your command, be it a line, circle, whatever, you start your command then you shift right click to bring up the option for intersection. The last object snap tool I'm going to show you is the perpendicular tool. I've got endpoint and midpoint switched on at the moment and I've also switched on perpendicular. Um, so what perpendicular allows you to do is to draw lines at right angles. So I'll show you what I mean by this. I'll start drawing a line from the midpoint on this line. So bring it across here you can see it's wanting to snap to the perpendicular. So we now have the line drawn across at right angles to this object here. I'll show you again. So I'm going to start the line on the end point of the previous line I've drawn. As I bring it across you can see there's the midpoint it's snapping to, but that midpoint is not at right angles. Whereas if I move across you can see it's snapping to the perpendicular. Another way you can use this, um, it's similar to how I showed you the intersection. We are going to start the line command alpha line and now I'm going to shift right click and select perpendicular and then I'm going to, you can see the cursor's come up, I haven't clicked anything yet, the cursor's coming up asking me if I want to use this line as the base for my perpendicular line so I'm going to click and you can now see that I've got this line that I can drag across which is going to remain perpendicular to the base line so I'll just click there like that I'll just show you that again, that one's a little bit more tricky. So I'm going to start the line tool, or it could be polyline, should you want to use polyline. And I'm going to shift, right click, perpendicular. Select the line that I'm going to use as my baseline, which is this line here. And then you can snap to wherever you want to snap to. So perpendicular is quite a useful tool as well and I'm just going to open up the object snap settings box now and uh, just go through the, the, the options that I tend to have switched on all of the time. Um, I always have perpendicular switched on, I find that really useful. Endpoint, midpoint, sometimes I have center switched on as well. One thing I would steer clear from um, is nearest. I've come across drawings where people have had nearest switched on and it just snaps all over the place and it, it really can cause havoc in your drawing so I'd be really careful when using that because 
it, it doesn't give you nice crisp right angles and it, oh, it's just a mess so be careful of that one but these are the um, core ones that I like to keep switched on but obviously as you get to know them and try out all the other ones that I haven't mentioned today you'll no doubt learn to have your favourites as well so I hope you found this useful um, thank you very much for watching and until next time